G'day, bloody dickheads. Vaping fucking bogan. Back once again for another Dinky Die review. How the fuck are you lot? Hope you're all having a ripper week. Got ourselves a double header on a double barrel. <laughs> We're going to have a look at the Double Barrel V3 from Squid Industries. It's a very, very simple device. There's not a huge change from the uh, previous version. So we're bundling it together with their new RTA called the Peacemaker. Now this is the regular Peacemaker, 25 millimeters in diameter, single coil RTA. Not the drip tip that she comes with. This one I ripped off of the Layer Cake RDA. About the only fucking thing that RDA was good for was its fucking drip tip. <laughs> Um, but anyway, dickheads, they also do a Peacemaker XL, which is a dual coil uh, sort of version of the uh, RTA. We're going to do that in a different fucking video. So, let's have a fucking toot. I've got some uh, 0.25 ohm or a 0.25 ohm single coil in here. 66 fucking watts. Fucking lovely stuff. Delicious, delicious flavor off this RTA. Very, very nice. It's got a, uh, a quite a unique sort of uh, tank section in that it's got acrylic in behind all of those metal sort of struts there, giving it uh, a really, really sort of durable design. It also comes with a bubble window of glass if you want more capacity and you're not uh, so fucking uh, rough with your shit. But anyway, more of this in a fucking minute, dickheads. Let's talk vape advocacy. I know he's always harping on about it, but I'm harping on about it because it fucking matters, all right, cunts? The governments over the around the world, all over the place, whether it be in the US, or Australia are fucking ruining this industry with uh, all sorts of fucked up flavor banning in the US. I've got some links in the description to some advocacy groups over there fighting for that. But also here in Australia, we've got our own battles. The South Australian government has literally just destroyed our industry, throwing all of the vaping uh, products into the tobacco legislation. I've done a video about it. I'll put links down below to that and uh, some advocacy groups here. Write your representatives. Go to that link and it'll find your representative here in Australia. Write them a fucking email and tell them, A, how vaping has changed your life. B, we want nicotine in our juice and see you won't be voting for anyone who ain't fucking supporting vaping all right i'll support a bloody beer that's what i support let's have a fucking uh, look see what do we got something quite interesting and different uh, today salted caramel milkshake ipa didn't think i'd hear all of those fucking words in one beer there you go uh it's called shake i think it's just called shake <laughs> uh, it's from, I think, Three Ravens. Three Ravens here in Australia. don't know how accessible this will be. Made over in Melbourne. Uh, Three Ravens Brewery. There you go. So I don't know how everyone else will go finding this one. But uh, yeah, does it say anything about it on here? Not really. Partially gelatinated low dairy beer-based beverage. There you fucking go. Uh, it is six fucking percent. Let's see how this, uh, this mix-up of flavours goes, huh? Have a look at that, dickheads. Quite a dark, orangey brown sort of colour to it. Yeah, cool. I suppose you call that an orangey brown. Thick head. Looks like it's quite a thick uh, fucking beer there as well. Just like your dumb brother. On the nose, she smells like an IPA. Some other sort of slightly creamier notes coming off there, but fairly IPA-ish on the nose. Fucking cheers. That is different. That is that is very different. It's got that IPA flavor there, definitely getting that sort of herbal, um, you know, piney IPA note, but none of the bitterness, which is quite different. You know, normally with an IPA, you get that bitter aftertaste. No bitterness, very smooth and creamy, as you'd expect being a, a fucking milkshake. And that's, uh, you know, those, those uh, lactoses in there. Yeah, getting that creamy caramel. It's not overpoweringly caramel. The caramel, you know, kind of goes nicely with the sort of malts and that that you get with an IPA anyway. That's actually a, that's a different but a fucking winner, I reckon. Thick on the mouth feel almost like a stout. Thick feel, feels thick like a stout, but much lighter than a stout. Creamy like a stout, but then piney as well. And caramel. And salted. A little bit of salt, I suppose, in there as well, if you look closely. That is one of the most unique beers I've fucking had in a while. We will pair it up with a juice. 
Now, I've been told, I think, uh, by these guys over there that it's uh, it's designed behind a, a sort of an old ice cream, which I think may be sort of specific to New Zealand. Uh, it's a mixture of uh, raspberry, vanilla, and then chocolate. I think there's like a an ice cream covered in raspberry and chocolate the, uh, the New Zealanders uh, enjoy. It's fucking really nice. The chocolate is on point. The raspberry's on point. It kind of reminds me a little bit of... Um, Raspberry chocolate coat, chocolate coated raspberry bullets with a little bit of a vanilla-ness in there as well. But the chocolate and the raspberry coming together reminds me a lot of those uh, raspberry chocolate bullets. Oh, that's gone fucking awesomely. Yeah, wow, the chocolate and raspberry are really kind of bringing out more of the sort of creamy caramel notes in the beer here. Yeah, that's a fucking top-notch pairing. Top-notch juice, top-notch beer, put them together, and a top-notch fucking pairing. It's just notches of topness all round. <laughs> Let's get into the up and bloody close, though, dickheads. We'll break this little tank down. We'll also run through the uh, the fucking um, the mod. Not that there's heaps to it. It is just a straight wattage, a little uh, little dual 18 650 device, and then we will uh, do a build, or sorry, a wicking tutorial. Let's get in there. Oh, fucking right, kid. So this is the packaging. Your Peacemaker RTA will come in. Inside the box, you'll obviously get the Peacemaker. You'll get a bag of Sperry's, which is always good to see. So you get uh, a spare screw. You get a spare ceramic clamp. You get spare O-rings. A couple of pre-made Clapton coils and good old blue screw. And you also get the 8mm bubble glass section. So it'll hold 4 mils as the standard acrylic uh, stainless steel section. And then if you go and bung this big fucker in here, you'll get a whopping 8 mils, which is just huge for a single coil RTA. It'll take you fucking all day to get through it. Brilliant. Anyway, this is the fucking reason we are here. So as I mentioned, this is the, uh, the standard... Uh, Peacemaker 25 millimeters. All right, there is a larger dual coil version. It's quite a bit wider than anything else. That is another fucking video, dickheads. So uh, yeah, really nice looking. I have to say, I like this design here with the um, the metal struts. Certainly very durable. Um, not only having all of those uh, metal struts there, but being acrylic inside of it rather than glass, just a lot more fucking durable. Just be aware, dickheads, with acrylics, some of your uh, you know cinnamons and citrus juices out there can crack. Uh, some acrylics. I don't know whether it will on this one, but uh, just something that uh, I know from years of experience. Anyway, up the fucking top, we've got ourselves an 810 Goon Kennedy style drip tip. So O-ring on the inside there. All of my custom drip tips have fit in here, no problems. The one they include, it's not bad, but it's, uh, it's way too schmocky for my liking. That uh, honeycomb acrylic just not really my cup of tea. So I went for the drip tip that came with the layer cake RDA. Um, absolutely fucking shit job they did on that RDA, but uh, the drip tip from District 5 is is really quite nice on this one. I reckon that just looks grouse. Anyway, so four mils of capacity with it uh, in its sort of standard um, mode with this glass, or acrylic, should I say, section. Moving our way down, we've got the airflow on the bottom here. Nice, adjustable, big sort of cyclops. You've got two slots. Whatever you do on one side will happen on the other. It does stop. It doesn't spin all the way around. If you close it off, you can then actually pull the uh, the AFC ring off if you wanted to get in there, sort of clean any residue or whatever else from underneath it. Uh, to get it back in, you see you've got that little notch there and there's a little groove, little groove just in here. All right, see that groove? You got to line that groove up with that notch. There it goes, slides on, and then you can just twist it and now it won't come off which is great. Down the fucking bottom, you have a 25 millimeter diameter, so it's gonna look great on the new uh, the V3 um, fucking double barrel. Uh, you got a serial number in there, number 34, very nice. And uh, Squid Industries, all the rest of it. Nice protruding 510 pin, so you will be able to use this on a hybrid mechanical mod if you wished, because you've got good protrusion there. But let's get into the fucking uh, build deck, shall we? So unscrew. Oh, she pops. So really quite a simple design the way they've done the whole barrel top cap section. So filling it, you just unscrew the top here. That comes away really nice and easily. The tolerances, I have to say, have been really, really good on this top cap. Haven't had it uh, get stuck on me. It has got some nice sort of uh, beveled sections there for a bit of grippage. Big fuck off kidney holes. And uh, then the top piece, it just pops out. You know, you can have your cap screwed on there and that is just fitted with an O-ring, the threading is on the barrel, so the uh, the chimney essentially threads down over the deck and secures everything, pins 
the uh, the tank section in there. You've got a big fat O-ring down the bottom here to seal, but the threading is all done via the chimney. That chimney has a nice uh, cone dome sort of shape to it, so great flavour. Nice condensed chamber as well. We've been really, really impressed with uh, with the flavour off of this one. I think that's down to this nice little chamber. But none of that's particularly fucking interesting. Let's uh, let's get into the uh, the main fucking show, which is this build deck. Now the build deck looks quite familiar. It's basically the post design is pretty much the Hermetic RDA um, from Suck My Mod. It's uh, it's it, pretty much no different. You've got a big gold-plated flathead screw up the top there, and then you've got this ceramic piece here. And this ceramic piece is uh, what clamps your coils. You've got one leg under each side. Essentially, you've got uh, you know a positive post with the peak insulator underneath it there, and then that's essentially your negative terminal. So installing a coil, super fucking easy. Just slide it in there, screw it down, job done. Very, very easy to install. And then you just snip the leads off the back here and you've got a bit of clearance between the barrel to uh, to cut those leads, but make sure you do keep them nice and fucking short. Now that airflow underneath there is a sort of honeycomb. You've got six large slots, sort of slightly uh, square or slot, you know, I think they're rounded, rounded slots. But uh, as you can see there, they have got a bit of a um, an arc to them. They sort of curve inwards, so wrapping around your coil, directing that airflow sort of directly underneath. Very, very nice uh, flavor with that undercoil airflow. Wicking, very simple. You just tuck it into your little uh, juice channels there, and you've got a little, little space for your wicks to dangle through. Very, very fucking simple deck design, but very effective. Uh, the coil that I've been using in here is uh, one I picked up when I was over in the UK. Some uh, bazooka coils. Shout out to uh, bazooka coils, handmade in the UK. These are uh, some Aliens, some NA80 aliens, NI80 aliens, there we fucking go. Three strands of 26 gauge, uh, N80 wrapped in 36 gauge. A dual coil comes in at about 0.13, um, and for a single coil, they came in at uh, pretty much 0 0.2, I think it was, 0 0.22, 0 0.22 for a single coil. So, uh, yeah, very fucking, uh, very happy with these. Really, really been enjoying the flavor, and it just fits perfectly into this deck. Um, what have you got there? Six wraps? Six-ish wraps? Tidy. Anyway, dickheads, I don't know if there's a whole lot more else to show you other than what it looks like with um, with the bubble window in there. Quite a bit different, as you can imagine. Um, but eight mils of juice capacity is fucking brilliant. There you go. So lots and lots of fucking juice. But let's get into a quick little wicking tutorial. Um, well, hang on, before we do that, let's quickly look at the uh, the double barrel V3. So the packaging that your double barrel will come in is just the same as they've done before. Inside of that box, you'll obviously get a manual and a, a little QC card, and you get a couple of these little discs. These are always kind of handy to have. They're little atomizer spaces you can put between your uh, Addy and your uh, 510 connection on your mod to stop you from scratching it the fuck up. But yeah, it's going to be pretty short, sharp, and shiny, really, on the uh, on the double barrel V3. It doesn't really look a whole lot different to, you know, the 2.2 or whatever it was. The previous one I've had, I think, was 2.2 or something like that. You've still got the Squid Industries down the side there. It's still a dual 18650, although they have updated the... Um, the battery uh, sort of uh, cap, really, really nice and solid, really nice and uh, and snug, very, very sturdy feeling compared to the uh, the plate that you had to sort of pop in and out. And uh, you've got negative and positive markings in there. Chuck a couple of batteries in, go uh, a fucking uh, negative up over here, positive up. I'm using some of my uh, VTC Sonys, VTC 6s from Sony, and I've got the ODB Bogan wraps on there. Here you go, dickheads. How fucking good are these? You can pick them up uh, from odb.com or you can pick them up in Australia from vaporize.com.au. But yeah, pretty stoked with how they turned out. One thing I do notice is just how sort of nice and stiff this uh, this sort of switch or switch this, um, this fucking door is. It's not going anywhere. It's not just going to pop out on you. It's got a nice little spring to it when you do open it. Uh, very, very well fucking improved. Now, the uh, the total diameter on the top here has been uh, widened to 25 millimeters. So now you can go and put something like your, uh, your, your fucking peacemaker on there. And uh, previously, you know, you could only go up to 24 millimeters. Now you can go up to 25. So that's a really nice little touch. And uh, they have flushed the screen. They have made the screen sort of nice and flat. One, two, three, four, five clicks, turns it on. You get a little squid popping up, but it is a fairly sort of dim screen. So we might need to actually flick off these fucking lights here just so you can actually see the screen. There we go. 
Um, very, very simple. So you've got that fire button like they've done previously. Really not a huge difference, you know, to what they've done there on that fire button. You've got the uh, little dial, so you're just adjust adjusting your wattage simply by rotating it. And then obviously to fire it, well, you're just hitting that, that dial and it's your button as well as your adjustment for wattage. Just does wattage tickets up to 150 watts, so no change really there. And um, you've got yourself uh, the resistance of your coil, the battery indicator, and the applied voltage underneath it. That's it. They've kept it very, very simple, which I do like. Very, very nice little uh, bit of engravings up the top there. Give it a bit of a bit of something, something. And uh, yeah, same double barrel sort of design. You know, looks like the, the fucking barrel of your shotgun. Really like this. It's a, it's a small, compact, slender mod, now a little bit wider to accommodate those uh, those bigger atomizers we're seeing more and more of these days. But yeah, not much else to really fucking show you there, dickheads. Menu system's still the same. One, two, three clicks. We'll flip the screen. One, two, three, we'll flip it back. One, two, three, four, we'll lock the resistance. It'll still allow you to fire it. Not lock the resistance, it will lock the wattage, but it'll still allow you to fire it. And then one, two, three, four clicks to unlock it again. One, two, three, four, five turns it off. But that is about it for the fucking double barrel. There's really, as I said, not a huge difference there to uh, the original. Just some nice little improvements for those that want to put a wider atomizer on there. I think that's probably the biggest um, biggest thing to point out. But anyway, let's do a quick little wicking tutorial on the Peacemaker. <laughs> Go dickheads, that is how I've been wicking my peacemaker. Very, very simple. All I want is that cotton to be just touching the bottom of those little fucking trays there for your juice to come up into. Um, you don't need to stuff it in there, it doesn't need to be packed just enough so that it all sort of feels snug and you're not going to have any sort of uh, leaking from you know around the sides of your cotton or anything like that. But uh, yeah, very, very quick and easy to fucking wick. Let's uh, let's jump back up top. Let's talk some fucking pros, cons, prices, and everything bloody else. So there you go, dickheads. Bit of a squeeze at these two cunts. And as you can see, job fucking well done, I have to say, on both of them. Now, the V3 uh, double barrel, not a huge change from the original. Just a couple of little tweaks from, I think it was the 2.1, um, which I've I've got. Uh, the screen being flush. It's a little thing, but juice, you know, is always going to condense when you're using an RDA or an RTA down onto the top of your mod. And having that, you know, little divot on the screen was annoying with getting juice and dust and crap in there. Now, you just... Give it a quick little bloody wiperoo, and uh, she's clean. So just the little things there. I do appreciate the flush screen. The 25 millimeter diameter, I think, is is the biggest step up for those that like to use 25 millimeter addies. And obviously, with their uh, previous double barrels, they look a bit fucking uh, shit house hanging over the edge there. So that nice uniform fucking uh, finish, very very nice. One thing I forgot to mention is the RTA does come in black as well as the stainless. Wish they'd sent me the black one, guys. Why'd you send me a stainless and then a black mod? Anyway, that's all good. Uh, uh, and the mod itself also comes in a bunch of different colors. I forgot to mention that. They've got that awesome uh, army green. There's a navy blue, and then there's like a champagne silver or something like that. Uh, or what do they call it? Uh, fucking gray champagne. There you go. Never drink gray champagne, though. But <laughs> anyway, pros and bloody cons. What do we think, cunts? Well, the RTA, uh, I love. I really love this RTA. The single coil flavor that I get off of this is exceptional. Uh, it might actually take, I think, I think it might take top spot for single coil RTAs for me. Previously, I'd love things like the Kylan Mini, um, and oh, there was a couple of others. I'm it's fucking escaping me, but I think. This one here, just a few things I really like about it. The flavor is right up there with as good as the best single coil RTA that I've experienced. Maybe even a touch better, but you know, different juices, different builds and etc. But I'd put it up there with the best single coil flavor that I've had from an RTA. Um, but I do really just like the way this thing looks. I love the durability of this uh, this tank design. You can knock it over and, and that sort of thing's not gonna break easily. Four mils capacity is still really, really good for something that doesn't have a bubble window. And if you do want more capacity, fuck me eight mils of juice 
on a single coil, that'll keep you going for hours, mate. So uh, yeah, really, really like what they've done with the, uh, the two tank systems. The airflow, super, super smooth. Really like that honeycomb airflow, super smooth. And as I said, top notch fucking flavor. 810 drip tip, I do love. A lot of sometimes you get those single coil RTAs and they go for a narrower drip tip. I like that they've gone for a nice wide 810, means all my custom tips have fit in here. Uh, build quality is on point. Very, very, very good build quality, um, you know, across the RTA, the threads are all fine. The O-rings, one thing, you know, the top. When I go to take off this barrel, I can actually get to my tank if I needed to, without uh, without having to drain it, which is um, which is a big, big little pro. So you can just unscrew your base, and away she comes. And that O-ring up the top there is really really nice and strong. I don't have to worry about the tank coming apart and separating and juice going everywhere. So I do like that. The the build quality and the tolerances have been done very very nicely, uh, and without. Um, without any issues at all on, on threading or, or uh, taking it apart. Fucking good build quality. Uh, what else would I fucking say about it? Like the fill cap, again, tolerances are perfect. I go to take it off and it, it's never stuck. Even when it's warm, it doesn't get stuck on me. Uh, so I do like that. Yeah, build deck. Build deck is super easy. Now, it's not, it's nothing new and different. As I said, we've seen that kind of build deck very, very much, uh, you know, done in, in a number of other devices. I think the Hermetic RDA uh, is probably the, the, the closest that it has to it, but it's a, a great system. You just slot new coils in there, clamp them down, away you bloody go. So, uh, yeah, all good stuff. The V3, as I said, some nice little improvements there, the wider, the non-sunken screen. They've kept the simplicity of just wattage. You know, 150 watts, it's plenty for me. And, uh, you know, I, don't, I like that I don't have a menu full of all sorts of crazy shit. I love that there's a, a small, big thing for me on, on any of the double barrels is just how nice and elegant they look. The small screen, the simple uh, wattage uh, adjustment there on the dial. Uh, it's it's a I mean it's it's been around for a while the double barrels and they're a favourite for a lot of people for a reason and all they've done is taken you know an already great uh, you know mod and they've just made it better by improving a few things. The other thing is that battery door not having to take a separate piece out and put it down, worry about losing it or you get drunk and then you bump it and the whole fucking thing falls out. Don't have that issue with this hinge system that they've implemented. So some great little improvements there. Fucking cons. What do we not like about it, dickheads? The RTA. Um. Not a lot to complain about here, to be honest, dickheads. I said the build quality is very, very good. The only little couple little gripes that I've had is um, when you do go to unscrew the, the deck from the base, there's not really anything to grip onto down the bottom there. Um, you know, your, your AFC ring, and there's no sort of grip or beveling there, and there's not a huge amount of metal to kind of grab with your fingers. So sometimes taking it apart does take a little bit of effort. Once you do get it going, then it's easy, but just something to point out if I'm going to fucking find a con. <laughs> That's about all I've really got. Um, personally, there's nothing else in this in this RTA that I, you know, would have a fucking whinge about. A couple of things, you know, subjective cons that I would point out. Obviously, being an acrylic um, section on uh, on this main uh, main barrel, some juices out there can crack those cinnamons and citruses and things like that. There's not a lot, but there are a few that can crack your acrylics. Apart from that, um, the drip tip, I'm not a big fan of. <laughs> Just that honeycomb, but that's easy swap. So, yeah, look, I'm, I'm trying to find stuff to whinge about, and I can't really. As I said, I think this will take um, top spot for me in terms of a single coil RTA, and will definitely be making it into my top five RTAs of 2018. Only real cons with things like the double barrel is that, you know, it doesn't do temp control or, you know, anything but wattage. It only does 150 watts. Not that, you know, most people are ever going to need any more than 150 watts. But, you know, if you are an above 150 watt vapor, um, then maybe not for you. And if you like temp control, then again, maybe not for you. But they're little, you know, very, very minor things. Um, apart from that, I think, uh, I think it's brilliant. Brilliant little fucking mod. So, what's it going to set you back? Well, these were sent directly from Squid Industry for the purposes of review. No, it doesn't fucking change my opinion, dear kids. You know that by now. Uh, now, they're pretty fresh onto the market. The double barrel uh, V3 has only just dropped. Uh, it's been on pre-order on the Squid Industries website. I think they said on there that it starts shipping on the 10th of December, which is a couple of days ago. So, you know, you probably already, you know, get one, uh, if you, you know, get one pretty soon if you order it. But they're selling for 100 fucking schmackos. 
So overall, dickheads, uh, a brilliant little setup. I wish this was black to go with the mod or the mod was silver to go with the tank, but either way, I took this one, uh, this setup, exact setup with me over to New Zealand uh, and it did me really fucking well. You know, it served me really well. It held up, uh, none of the paint has chipped off or anything like that. It didn't fucking leak on me at all. I even left some juice in this thing while I was flying on the plane. Uh, and you know, with those pressure differences, you usually find your RTAs and your sub tanks will just dump your juice, they'll leak because of the pressure differences. Um, but I was pleased to say that with you know a third of a tank of juice in here, I didn't get any leaking, which is uh, which is something to uh, to mention. But yeah, overall, dickheads, fucking job well done. I definitely recommend both of these to uh, to anybody. So I think about wraps it up, cunts. I'll put my usual Instagram and Facebook links down below if you want to check out what I'm doing outside of the YouTube videos. If you want to support my channel, please fucking do. Remember, I run an independent situation, and that means there's no sponsorships here. There's no affiliate links. There's no paid reviews or jumping the queue fees or any of that crap that's going to influence what I fucking say. But to keep doing that, a bit of public support is loved. I do have a Patreon page. People do prize. I do prizes, giveaways, content, special fucking things that uh, the regular folks don't get access to. And all of that keeps me doing my thing. But if you can't, that's all good. Just sit back, sub me fucking off or your tits off. But above all, stay off the bloody stinkies. I don't care whether you got one coil, two coil, double barrel, triple barrel, as long as you're not fucking banging the bungers. That is all that bloody matters. I'll be, chew, be popping back with uh, a follow-up vid with the XL version of this pacemate, Peacemaker very soon. Pacemaker. <laughs> I keep saying that. Anyway, cheers cunts. Have a bloody good one. Pacemaker? Did I say pacemaker? Fucking peacemaker. Pacemaker's what fucking granddad's got in his chest. <laughs>